Hello my beautiful kittens, how are you? Today we're going to complete the rest of factors that affect the rate of reaction. So today we will learn a lot of things about the effect of temperature and the rate of reaction. So let's check it out. What will happen to the rate of reaction if we increase the temperature? What will happen if we decrease it? The scientists found that at higher temperature the faster the rate of reaction. So, if we increase the temperature of a reaction, the rate of reaction will increase. But there's a beautiful thing you have to know about it. If the temperature increased by 10 degrees Celsius, the rate of reaction to approximately double. So if you want to increase the rate of your reaction, you have to make your reaction at higher temperatures. But we have to ask ourselves, why does the reaction rate increase as a result of increasing the temperature? What is the effect of temperature in the rate of reaction? What happens? Actually, as a result of increasing the temperature, the particles gain energy. Successful collagens lead to product, which means enhancing the rate of reaction. So, at higher temperature, the particles gain more energy, they move faster, they collide frequently or their frequent collisions increase. This is a very important paragraph that describes what is the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction. So we have three points. At higher temperature, the particles have more energy. As a result of gaining more energy, they move faster. Moving faster means more frequent collisions. Now guys, let's simulate two reactions. The reaction number one was done at low temperature and the second one was done at high temperature so let's count the collisions in here so let's start as a result of increasing the, the temperature this leads to increase the kinetic energy of the particles and that leads to enhance the collisions enhancing the collisions leads to enhance the rate of reaction so what we conclude of this We conclude that the higher the temperature, the more energy and speed particle have. This increases the frequency of collisions with other particles and the energy with which they collide, and so increases the rate of reaction. And now guys, if we, let's say, want to test the effect of temperature and the rate of reaction experimentally, we have a very famous experiment, which is the reaction between sodium thiosulfate with hydrochloric acid. The reaction will be between two clear solutions, hydrochloric acid and sodium thiosulfate. The reaction between these two clear solutions leads to produce a precipitate. This precipitate is due to the formation of sulfur and actually it's a yellow precipitate. Okay, but where is the effect of temperature in this equation? Actually, we will make this experiment at different temperatures of sodium thiosulfate. What are the steps of this experiment? If we want to run this experiment to investigate the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction, first, we make a cross on a piece of paper. Sometimes you can write whatever you like in this paper. Sometimes you can write your favorite letter, your favorite number, it doesn't matter. And then, we add a fixed amount of sodium thiosulfate to beaker and place it on the piece of paper. Add a fixed amount of sodium thiosulfate to a beaker and place it on the piece of paper. So you can see the cross sign uh, from the beaker itself. And then we add a fixed amount of hydrochloric acid to the beaker and immediately start stop clock. The solution will begin turns cloudy. But you have to put in your mind, if you're studying the effect of temperature, you have to control all of the other variables. Okay. As soon as the cross can no longer be seen, stop the clock and not the time. And then repeat this experiment at different temperatures using the same value of reactants. Compare how long it takes the cross to disappear. Guys, you have to put in your mind, one of the most famous questions in paper 6 is how to plan or let's say how to plan an investigation 
to check the effect of let's say temperature the effect of surface area or the concentration so you have to let's say have a common sense with the steps as a result of a production of sulfur during the reaction as we see the reaction is start to become cloudy over again so that you can see the cross again the time taken for the crust to disappear can be used as the time of reaction and now i'd like to show you this experiment which done in the lab before the quarantine in this experiment, we have three equal volume of sodium thiosulfate solutions by at different temperatures. We start from the first one from the right, which is hot. And then we have uh, sodium thiosulfate at room temperature and the third one, which is cold solution of thiosulfate. Then we added equal volume of hydrochloric acid to all of these beakers. When we add hydrochloric acid to sodium thiosulfate, we start counting time using stopwatch. Uh, we noticed that when we used hot sodium thiosulfate, we noticed that it took only five seconds uh, to sulfur to be produced in the reaction, which means it's faster reaction. And now let's check the second experiment. As we noticed that uh, this thiosulfate at room temperature is starting uh, to be cloudy and actually we're like about no longer see the cross uh, under this beaker so the time needed for the room temperature to be done is 57 as the cold thiosulfate takes longer time we will represent these data in a graph like time versus temperature so we can collect a lot of data from the graph let's go and here we want to represent the graph which was the temperature versus time here just we want to make the opposite only for the temperature we reflect the uh, the axis the y-axis will be for the time of the reaction whereas the x-axis will be for the temperature so as we notice that if we increase the temperature the time taken for the reaction decreases and here for example if I ask you like what will be the time needed for this reaction uh, if we make sodium thiosulfate at uh, 35 degrees Celsius you just like draw a perpendicular line in here and we notice that the time taken for the reaction to completely done is 60 seconds and we notice that if we make it a higher temperature like 50 degrees Celsius the time taken is about 30 seconds okay guys if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below and again stay safe stay home